What is going on guys? It's Macabre back with yet another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, we are going to talk about this kind of cool combo of a perk and an exotic arm piece for a certain class that I just cannot stop using. We'll get into that. Before we do, if you tuned into the stream last night, thank you very much. For those of you who are curious as to what I'm talking about, I stream here on YouTube at least once a week. Usually it is Friday night, and yes, usually it is Trials. Sometimes we'll mix it up. I might be streaming again this weekend, depending on how I'm feeling, because we're possibly going to be doing some Grandmaster Nightfalls, so I'll let you know. But before we talk about this cracked combo, I had teased at a special surprise and here's my challenge to you guys at the time of this video right when i put this video out it is march 20th there is 11 days left before april my goal or my challenge for you guys is to reach 45 subs okay that is seven subs so less than the days we have left, that's my challenge to you. Reach 45, and maybe, just maybe, we'll unlock this special surprise that I have for you guys. Maybe it's an involvement uh, of switching where we stream. Maybe it's a new series. I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. You guys don't know what it is. So let's hit that 45, and maybe I'll tell you. Past that, let's jump in to what I'm talking about. So for those of you who have been sleeping under a rock, perhaps, I have a combo that is heavenly, and let me explain why. So first things first, the new seasonal weapons for Season 13 come with this perk called Frenzy. Being in combat for an extended time increases damage handling and reload of this weapon until you are out of combat. And here's the deal. There is a 750 RPM submachine gun in the primary slot called Extraordinary Rendition. Now, for those of you who are like, why is he so hyped about this specific SMG? Well, besides the fact that it can roll with Frenzy, this is the same RPM and honestly almost the same style of SMG as Ikalos, the ARC one that's everyone's been freaking out about. The only difference is obviously Extraordinary Rendition cannot spawn War Mine cells. But moving past that, what gets me truly excited is Frenzy in and of itself is what most people would consider quite lame right? The reason I like this perk almost over any other perk in the game, at least at the current moment, is it gives a damage buff for giving or taking damage. You know how easy that is? Do you know how easy it is to take damage in this game? Because I do. I'm like the leader of it, okay? I don't think there's anyone better at taking damage than myself, okay? But Let's jump into the combo. So obviously, I'm going to be rocking my Extraordinary Rendition. Now, in my secondary slot, for the purpose of this video, I'm trying to figure out um, for Master uh, Lost Sector, just this one specifically. So don't worry about my loadout too much. And you can honestly put whatever you'd like. I've been using a lot of Salvager Salvo, this season's pinnacle ritual weapon. And I've been enjoying that quite a bit. In the heavy slot, I've been using Anarchy but can easily be substituted for a rocket launcher or a sword of your choosing. Now, why is this combo cracked? Well, it's all due to actually, quite simply put, just one exotic arms piece on the Warlock. Yes, this is a Warlock build here. Necrotic Grip. The way Necrotic Grip works is every time you melee an enemy, you infect them with essentially what Thorn does. You infect them with this poison. And this poison will stick with them. I think it's somewhere between 5 and 8 seconds. But what's amazing is when they die, if that enemy dies, that poison then spreads, reinfecting already infected enemies, possibly. Now get this. That poison is dealing damage. How is Frenzy procced? Dealing or receiving 
damage. Boom. Frenzy is going to proc very, very fast on this. I mean, obviously, it's still the 12 seconds that it takes to get to that point, but it's almost always going to stay procced. As long as you melee one dreg in a herd of... Herd? Herd. Is it a herd of dregs? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I just, like, was mind blown there. But you horde, I guess, would probably be best. But you melee that drag, and it kills a bunch of other... Or it dies, and then infects a bunch of other drags. Now you have constantly dealt damage over the span of probably close to 30 seconds, because if they keep dying and reinfecting each other, it just, it just keeps going and going and going. And Frenzy stays active. Why else do I like Frenzy? Well, you can actually store this SMG and pull it back out, and Frenzy will be active. So if Frenzy isn't active and I need to use my Anarchy, I'll shoot a couple Anarchy shots, start dealing damage, eventually I switch back out to my SMG. That damage actually counts for my SMG, and Frenzy is then active. That's why this perk is so good. One last thing, and this is just a recommendation. If you're going to be using this and you're on your Warlock with Necrotic Grip, what better way to utilize this synergy than to go bottom tree Nova Bomb? Now get this, proc Devour with your grenade. Once you have Devour active, go in melee in that horde of enemies. You have now successfully infinite health, essentially. Frenzy is always active, and every single enemy in that area is going to already be weak. You have set yourself up for success. That is it for this video. I know it's kind of short, and I know the background gameplay is kind of lame, but like I said, I'm just, I'm a little under the weather right now. Don't worry, I'm okay, I'm safe, I'm taking the precautions I need to and everything. It's not COVID, we know that. But, whew, just taking some time to relax and heal up here. So, there will be more great content in the future. This Tuesday, I promise, will be the new strike. Do not worry, I'm not lying to you this time. <laughs> and with that, I have nothing else to say except for get back to grinding, you crazy guardians.